Hey everybody, welcome back to another Featured Friday. Today I am going to click open this little fish tackle box that I use to keep some of my favorite samples in. And I have this piece to show you today. So we could do a lot of different options. Let's go with this guy. Take a look at that. Let's get some good lighting there. There we go. <clears throat> do you know what that is? Now, there's lots of things this could be confused with, lots of rocks that we can confuse this with. Um, but just take a look. And remember, I always give the advice that just physical inspection, just looking at a rock, is, especially if it's a random piece like this, is not always the best way to determine what you have. So you have to be very careful and you have to uh, employ some other methods other than just visually inspecting it. So we're just giving it a fun try today. This is what I do on Fridays. I show you some random piece and then you try to guess what it is. So drop it in the comments as a guess. Don't cheat because at the end of the video, I do reveal it, of course, I'm going to tell you what it is. Um, but drop your comment first as, as your guess. It's just kind of fun to see what people come up with. And it actually helps us determine um, what things we might confuse some of the rocks and minerals with. So it's a good good little thing for us to do. But anyway, yeah, I'll just kind of kind of give you some different perspectives of it here and talk about what we have. Um, yeah, so what you want to do is you want to do other tests on rocks and minerals to determine what they are. Um, on minerals, I did a whole video. I highly recommend looking at uh, that video on how to ID minerals. There's some really good tips um, and recommended tools and resources there. You'll really, if you want to get serious, you'll want to get yourself some kind of guide that has mineral information on it because you need that information to correctly identify. And mineralogy is a lot trickier than it sounds. Um, there's a lot of people out there that would quickly pick up something and say, or pick up something and quickly say, oh, this is exactly what it is. And if you don't know any better, you might agree with them. Um, but they're not always right because some of the identification in the field is a lot harder than it seems. And lots of minerals get mixed up with other ones. Um, so today we have this piece and it is obviously a little shiny, uh, maybe a little flaky looking if you look there at that. Um, it's it's hard-ish, but it's actually a soft piece that I could break up if I wanted to. Um, fairly lightweight, I can tell you that. And there's kind of how it's breaking, how it's fracturing, if you need to see that pattern. And let's see if I can, I don't want to damage it too much, but uh, kind of scrape at it a little bit. There we go. So it does kind of scrape off in that black powdery like substance you can see there. See, so it's it's kind of soft. Um, let's just take a few more looks at it and then I'm going to tell you what we have here. So get your guess ready, make sure you've dropped your guess already and then get ready. Because what we have here, again, kind of light, not too heavy. What we have here actually is uh, related to sedimentary rocks and this is a piece of coal. It's an actual piece of coal. Um, I just did a full length video on coal. So if you want to learn more about coal and not just get a quick visual today and you actually want to learn about coal, you can check out that video. I'll put the link in the description soon. Um, so yeah, so you can learn about coal because there are different types of coal. So if we wanted to, we could break down what type of coal this is. Um, if you already know, you could be more specific in the comments or you could go watch that video and see if you can figure it out um, in after watching that and and learning about the main types the three main types um kind of two main types but yeah there are there's a designation of three and then you can learn what makes coal do you know where coal comes from um there's some confusion sometimes i hear between coal and oil um and where they come from and coal is related to plant matter and it's related to sedimentary rocks so that's what we have here today. And yes, this is this is coal. This is the stuff that that pretty much was a big part of our whole industrial movement. And uh, we still do use coal around the world quite heavily for different things. Um, but it did have a boom in, in the industrial revolution time. So yeah, so that's a nice piece of coal. And... 
I will do more Featured Friday content. So every Friday, check back and I will just flip open my collection or I'll be in the field and I'll show you something that I think is cool and just kind of give you a visual uh, look at it and see if you can guess what it is. And then I'll reveal it at the end of the video. And then I try, eventually there will be a full length video on everything I talk about. So it won't just be, there's my rock hound coming in. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I won't just leave you hanging. Um, I'll try to get a full length video for a deeper discussion if you become interested in it. But this is just a Let's Go Geo Featured Friday today. Uh, stay tuned. Join me for another Featured Friday next Friday. Otherwise, if you want to brow browse the full length content here at Let's Go Geo, just head over to the channel and you can find all things geo. Rocks, minerals, crystals, things about rivers and waterways, and just a whole long list of geology topics. So head over and I will see you on the next adventure.